recording. Will, uh, let's get into a little bit. Tell me about, you know, how you got into music and what you're uh -huh. doing now. Um, well, um, when I was uh, in, like, seventh grade, I would just make pencil beats at the lunch table. And um, a good friend of mine just told me, hey, why don't you start uh, recording your own stuff? So I did that, and then um, I started going down to Atlanta when I was about 16. And then um, after that, I met... Um, Skip It A Flippa, which is a hip-hop artist that created the dab, the dance. I met him, and um, basically he just put me under his wing, and um, he helped me out. And then I met a couple different producers, and that's how I got the um, debut Billboard album placement. So are you an artist, a producer? How would you define your producer, role right now? Beat maker. So you don't do a lot of your own music, it's mostly working with other artists? To... Uh, yeah, I just make the, the beats for the artists and they do the rapping on it, I just do the music behind it, that's all I do. How many years have you been doing that in particular? About seven years. Okay. How old are you now? 24. 24, okay. Yes, sir. Um, so, uh, you know, at this point in your career, I know you mentioned a few albums, you mentioned the, the video on YouTube, they got a million. Mm -hmm. What would you say is, you know, your biggest accomplishment uh, to date, I guess? Um, the The... Debut at 23 on the Billboard charts, um, the placement I had, that was probably my biggest accomplishment. And um, the the song that has a million that didn't touch Billboard, but it's got the most views out of anything that I've done. So, yeah, I think those two are probably my biggest accomplishments. Uh, what, what, uh, which chart was it on that it got 23? The Heat Seekers albums, oh, Billboard. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, how many artists, you know, are you currently working with as a producer? 15 to 20. Okay. Are they mostly, are they all over the place? Is it concentrated in the southeast? Or? Everywhere. They're everywhere, yeah. Uh, so are you, uh, you're based out of Hickory or do you work yes, in sir. any other cities? Or I, I work anywhere I'm at. I take my laptop, I go anywhere and work, so yeah. So you travel all over the country for this? Yeah. Um, can you, uh... Will you be able to, since you, you say make, making beats is primarily what you do, would you be able to show us some of that absolutely. right now? Maybe you could, you know, you could get some... Yes, absolutely. I, I thought y'all'd never ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want me to make one on the spot, or y'all just want me to play you, you something? You can go and improvise if you want. That okay. Let me, um, we can start. Um, let me just let y'all hear something I did yesterday. It's already pulled up. How loud do y'all want it? How loud Knock it out. <laughs> okay. I said y'all had a long day. <laughs> Let's see.
basically what I'm doing here is just trying to find the key of what it's supposed to be in. That's all I'm doing there. And then this is where I mix everything, make it sound good. So yeah, that's just a little taste of what I do. That's That was like two minutes. I'm not done with it so, yet. So this is like if you, uh, instead of having a soundboard in a studio, you're able to do it all right Everything there. electronically, yes. And then I mix everything in this little mixer right here. So this, basically this is where all my sounds go. And then I just manipulate them to sound however I want them to sound. So you mentioned you started, was it uh, was it high school or was it earlier you really started? Uh, about making beats? Middle, school, middle school. I, I was doing pencil beats. I wanted to play the drums, but I never learned. So um, I just downloaded this program. Yeah. Um, my freshman year of high school, I was 14, 15, and then I've just been doing this ever since. And I never took it seriously until um, I went down to Atlanta, and then I started getting serious about it. When did you go down to, what year was it you went down to Atlanta? Uh, four years ago, three years ago. Can you tell me what that experience was like and just some more details about what you, uh, what happened there that was so transformative for you? Um, just meeting Flippa really... Um, help me out like he he took me under his wing and just really put me in the position that I needed to be in to um get these placements and work with bigger artists and with meeting him I met a lot of the bigger producers that are already established in the music industry uh, some and that's examples. um Iceberg um he produced Pop Out by Polo G I don't know if you've ever heard that song it's like a pop out at your party one with the gang I don't know if you've ever heard that but a lot of uh, introduce you to producers and, and I guess Got your name out there. Uh 